So if I'm camping or wherever I'm at, wherever I need to make a fire, I uh, find it to be very important to forge the right kind of wood and keep a good stockpile of the right kind of material to burn. For example, here's a basic layout of what I forged a few days ago just for the storm we had here. I love pine cones. I believe they contain turpentine. They light very easy, very quickly, and burn nice and hot. And they can actually burn for quite a bit of time while you forage for other things, just to keep your hands warm. If you haven't seen my fire on fire technique, you should check out that video too, I'll post it up. It's a great technique for burning very wet wood. So I've created a fire with my pine cones and my smaller sticks, and it's cooking the larger, wetter logs right there. The pine cones, excellent burning material. I put pine cones on top of the thinnest, smallest stuff I can find. I sort of make a bed out of it. Then I have small sticks and small mediums, and then mediums and medium larges, and then we go to our logs for the largers. And so it sort of starts off in that succession. And this is great. This right here, this pile, I can start 20 fires easily. I really don't want to use a whole lot of this. It's frozen to the earth right now, so I was lucky to grab this. I want to keep this as long as I possibly can, so I'm just going to make small fires and look what's happening now. Those are burning. So this wet wood, I can forage and just set it on top of one of these small little fires and get it going. Either way though, outdoorsy, campy, survivally, whatever people will tell you that fire is absolutely the most important thing. I very rarely carry a lighter on me. Um, most people do, even if it doesn't work, you can still create a flame with the spark. But wherever I go, I've got these two cases here that come everywhere with me. In uh, a waterproof case, I have a small aluminum pencil sharpener. This is really good if you have nothing but small wet sticks. You can actually sharpen the sticks and get nice dry wood shavings out of this. I have a compact collapsible long <laughs> oxygen giver. You blow in into the fire so you don't have to get your face all the way down into it. This is great. I use this continually every single time I make a fire. So I will get my small kindling with this. I will light it with a small ferro rod. Very simple, very, I've had this thing for years. It still has years of life left in it. Just a couple little, little, I'm not gonna do it here. I don't wanna set my deck on fire, but this is, this is what I use instead of a lighter in all cases. It's always reliable. You can get wet and it'll still work. Worst case scenario, I have a couple cotton balls that actually have a little bit of kerosene soaked into them and a plastic bag, so you can barely smell it. It's not gonna catch on fire unless I want it to. And just some fishing stuff, you know, you wanna drop a line, got a couple hooks in here, a couple bobs, a couple sinkers, you can just put it on a stick and, and you're good to go. So this tiny little case here has really everything you need. The only thing that is not in this case that would be nice to have is a really sharp knife, but these things are absolutely essential. They're light, you can just throw them in your pocket. This is just a tiny, small phone case that you get, you know, at the boat stores or, you know, something like that where you need to keep your phone watertight. This won't even fit an iPhone. This thing is ancient. It's, it's like probably for one of those Nokia flip phones. I don't even know what can fit in here, honestly, but definitely no phone today will fit in this thing, but anyway. This here is just a bunch of magnesium shavings. This will really start the fire very quickly. It burns very hot and it lights very easily. If you don't have a lot to go with, this is an ideal situation. So it's basically just a bar of magnesium here and just take something sharp. And all you do is just find a nice little spot like the sharpest area on this and just shave it. Super fun! And it takes a little while to get all of this in here, but this will last me for months. Each time I set a fire, I usually use just about this much just to get it going. Sometimes I use more depending on how wet the wood is, but that's really all you need. That's what I use every single time I'm gonna make a fire out here and anywhere else I go. So, cheers. Anyway, I think I probably 
make more fire than I do anything else in my life at this point. Which is unfortunate for me at this time. But, uh, you know, we do have a lot of work to do, so we're going to get to it today. Yeah. See you soon. <laughs>